probably it's because he smoked that he's doing so well. This is Dr. Gundry, the buffoon who keeps trying to scare people from eating plants because they have lectins and phytates. Let's hear what else he believes. How long people live is not important. And interestingly enough. <laughs> and you live longer if you smoke. It's not because <laughs> if you smoke, it's in spite of smoking. No, you're wrong. British doctors <laughs> who smoke have a 30% less incidence of Parkinson's and yeah, dementia. Yeah, because they die of 10 other diseases <laughs> beforehand. This patient went from eating just a ton of processed foods, whatever, and went on a cocaine binge for a few months, okay? Literally a cocaine binge and um, eating Twinkies, candy bars, but low calorie. And their hemoglobin A1C and their high-risk CRP totally normalized. Yeah. From that anecdote, would we be universally recommending cocaine and Twinkies as a diet? Of course not. I was lost when we're saying lectins are pro-inflammatory, so we should stop eating them. And smoking is pro-inflammatory, but it extends life. There's really strong correlation. When you say really great evidence, I'm curious yeah. what goes through your mind. Uh, what goes through my mind is in the next book. We're seeing correlations and we're seeing mechanisms and we're seeing your theories, which you admitted are unproven. That was your statement from earlier. They are theories. I do not feel the caliber of the evidence that you use to make certain statements reach the level that we should make generalized claims that apples are horrible, that smoking isn't bad as long as you have high uh, antioxidant levels, because those are dangerous statements to make because they mislead people into thinking that smoking is safe, that apples are bad, and they might as well eat a Milky Way. The men in Sardinia have seven year longer lifespan than the women because they're smokers. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I've never had a cigarette in my life. About 80% of my patients now are autoimmune patients who are not getting any better despite... Why do you think that is? Uh, when you make statements like the worst thing you could do for your mitochondria is a fruit smoothie, it's not just taking a little bit of liberty with information, it's truly misleading people to make bad decisions for their health. I looked up your publications, Dr. Gundry. I couldn't find anything published at AHA. Um, I saw that you had sure. one abstract yeah. that was presented at the conference, but it was never a published paper peer review. You're saying you could eliminate all disease? Yeah. Yeah. Then well, we're in the midst of a profit. What a medical doctor tells a patient should be a matter of trust, and it has to be based on the scientific method. And that's where we smell a rat in this debate. Dr. Gundry, in all respect, has not published a published paper on this topic, little tiny paragraphs. That is not a basis to change the nutritional pattern. Let me tell you three important facts. Number one, if you want to live a long life in this world, whether you live in Japan, Greece, Italy, uh, Costa Rica, or Loma Linda, you eat beans, you eat peas, you eat lentils. The universal food a longevity is the food he takes away. Bad idea. Number two, the largest nutritional research data in the world just came out in the past few weeks. It's called the Pure Study. They looked what happened to 135,000 people. You ate more legumes, beans, peas, lentils, you live longer. That's not a side effect. We use lectins in medicine to diagnose cancer and to treat cancer. There are benefits to lectins. Dr. Gundry calls them killer lectins. That is abusive of the public trust. He's got 20 cheeses you can eat and almost no fruits you can eat. Sorry, that's not medicine. That is bad fat. The danger comes in when we start generalizing as foods as being evil or bad. Apples are horrible for you. Those statements mislead patients into making bad decisions because when you say apples are terrible for you, you're making this statement from a very knowledgeable position of, the, the polyphenol change, this change, and you wish that they were a little bit smaller. The patient hears, I might as well eat a Hershey's Kiss. Do you get how that happens? Yes. And that's a big problem because your books are bestsellers. But and then patients go, I don't want to eat apples anymore. Great. That's so hard that to say. That makes me very happy. <laughs>